remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Yeah. She wrote a novel when she was 10. They had everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then, two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story set in her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. Uh. What? It, it's not like despair, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought. I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd ne never seen such an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. N no, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. An inferiority complex. It's way off about what a successful author would be like. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizano. I look forward to getting to meet you. She moves positive as wise. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayako Maizano. I saw her name in the thread online. Frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but, well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, She's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Huh? Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Huh. Hey, by any chance... Now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Makoto, 
did. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste on valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. You're right. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayako really had something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll never see each other again. And like she said, we can talk later. Yo, the name's Leon Kawada. What's up? recognize that name. He played the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... you? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all, what? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head is like, that is part of national championship regulations. But now, I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back normal either. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Never practice? And he was still the team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball. Good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream? For the future? My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality or I have, right? I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. I am Hifumi Yamada, but if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? Well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. The world of such idiots means nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I am sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. I just get really nerve embarrassed whenever I have to introduce myself. Anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? No, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. 
You don't have to apologize for that. Oh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Hey, so listen. I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Hmm? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. No, oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate are you? Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online. So I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me. But... Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything. There's no point in asking. Hi! I'm Dugo Inishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know. Edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. They make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Name's Mondo Nice to meet you. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means he's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. 
He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Hell yeah. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. I am Sakura Ogami. Oh jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to primates. The famed missing link. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now, if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, you. Huh? Y yes I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you- Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm, what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Name's Byakia Togaka. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Yakia Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of the ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He is the definition of exception. Everything I learned about him from Hope's Peak Academy's thread online. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. I'm like a king in training. I'm Yashihiro Hagaku, hero for sure. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Yashihiro Hagakure, also known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Uh, okay. I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. <clears throat> so, what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with the skyfish in its mouth, and the guardian angel is your guardian angel. Nah, I'm kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see, and well, it's a long story. A few times? 
Yeah, I bet that is a long story. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Lutonberg. Celestia Luton. Uh huh? Luton, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. As I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celeste Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament entitled the Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> That smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions were done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Okay, time to get down to business. <laughs>